Stella Pires is from uh, Navili and a former uh, head of the Botanical Society or this group? Uh, secretary of Botanical Society. Secretary. Yes. Current secretary, former secretary? Current, Current secretary. secretary of the Botanical Society. Uh, Stella, tell us, uh, today you are talking about winter, winter, winter gardening? Winter vegetables. Vegetables. Yes. Uh, what is suitable for Goa in the winter? In winter, in Goa you can grow tomatoes, brinjals, chilies, capsicums and along with that you can grow like other exotic vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy or uh, then uh, cabbage, carrots. People have already grown in Goa and they have been successful in successfully growing this exotic vegetable that was out outdoors in Goa. In which areas? In the south also and in North Goa also many people have tried growing it in their farms and also as home gardeners also. But uh, mostly in the fields we have very stereotype ideas about what to grow. Why is that? Why? That is there. Some things have to be changed. Uh, some mentality, some things we need to give them information about the new things also. That is just a gap I can see that is there between the farmers and uh, like the people who know that exotics can be grown. Any risk? Any risk of growing exotics? A risk is only if you grow it before anywhere, after win winters, then they cannot be grown that well. Whereas winters, we have a very short winter yeah. in, in, uh, in Goa, I can say. And so that is the time it is like very suitable to grow vegetables. Which, which, which months are we talking about? We are talking about the months from October, November, December till January. Up till February is also suitable. So it takes up approx four months for the vegetables to come up after sowing. So you, you obviously love your field. How did you get into it? What made you decide for it? I love for nature, I love nature, I love wildlife and so this got me into agricultural fields to know more about plants that, that are around us, that we consume as food and which we use as ornamental. So to study more about them that got me into the field of agriculture. You studied where? I studied in Don Bosco College of Agriculture, Sulkona. So and also our ancestral uh, like my aunts and all they would grow fields. So they were deep into agriculture that generation. Yes, that generation they were very deep into agriculture. So every vacation when they would go out sowing the I seeds see. and then the month of October when they would dry the paddy. So those things used to make me very curious and it was nice learning from them those processes when I was young and yeah that made me get into the agriculture field. If you had one challenge to take on as far as agriculture in Goa is concerned, what would that be? One challenge I would say that people must go back to their roots from where they are, from where they came from. At least maybe not into big lands or but at least somewhere growing from home. Growing, growing to home gardens and all and someday I want to see Goa also getting a certified for an organic state so maybe this little practices starting from one person like me or maybe 10 people like in workshops too if someone starts from there maybe that's the start we can start and continue go ahead and make Goa an organic state someday so that is what I want to see someday all the best I'm sure yes. you can do it yes. thank you thank you thank you